Why was one of Asia's biggest and most beautiful cities abandoned in the 14th century? What led to Angkor, the center of a powerful Khmer Empire for more than 500 years, falling so quickly? Hey guys, what's up? It's your channel, Mystery Muse. Subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to receive notifications whenever we are up with a new video. Built at the height of the Khmer Empire by its ambitious king Suryavarman II between AD 1113 and 1149, the Temple of Angkor Wat in Cambodia is a stunning architectural masterpiece. The main temple, which spans a mass of 215 by 186 meters and rises more than 60 meters above the surrounding terrain, is a sight to behold. And today, in this video, we are going to examine the mystery of this stunning architecture, Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat, which is reputed to be the largest pre-20th century religious structure in the world, dwarfs even the largest Sumerian ziggurat and reduces the citadel at Mohenjo-daro on the Indus River and Karnak's Temple of Ammon to the status of village shrines. Since the late 19th century, archaeologists have studied Angkor Wat, particularly those from France. They have largely concentrated on the art, architecture, epigraphy, iconography, and ritual functions of the site. Given that they have been exposed to such an enormous site, one cannot hold it against them. But as a new generation of researchers is showing, it is impossible to comprehend a temple in isolation. Rather, it must be seen in the larger context of the region that surrounds it, heaven on earth. Angkor Wat represented heaven on earth to the Khmer's. Every element of this extraordinary shrine rendered in terrestrial mode their celestial world. The world, according to King Suryavarman's people, was divided into a central continent called Jamba Vepa, from which rose the cosmic mountain Maru. The tallest tower at Angkor Wat is a representation of Meru, while the four smaller towers show the mountain's lower peaks. The vast wall surrounding the temple is symbolic of the mountains at the edge of the world, and the surrounding moat is symbolic of the sea of milk surrounding Meru, where gods and demons stirred ambrosia. Suryavarman II used Angkor Wat as a location where he, as the divine king, spoke with the gods. It was originally dedicated to the Hindu protector Vishnu, his body was interred in the central tower when he passed away, allowing his spirit to enter his divine likeness and communicate with the royal ancestors. In this place, he merged with the universe's creator, Vishnu, the mystery. While intrepid tourists take pictures, researchers are using cutting-edge techniques to reveal Angkor Wat's hidden side, which has long been hidden by all that vegetation. Many scientists believe that Angkor Wat was a sacred city enclosed within the boundaries of a square moat after more than a century of research on the parts of the structure that are visible with the naked eye. However, despite the fact that its name roughly translates to Temple City, research indicates that Angkor Wat was not at all a sacred site. Greater Angkor was a sprawling city roughly the size of Berlin or Columbus, Ohio, that included a massive temple connected to residential neighborhoods, canals, and other buildings that extended beyond the moat. Beginning in April 2012, Angkor Wat was revealed using contemporary laser technology. For nearly two weeks, daily helicopter flights over a 370 square kilometer area around the temple were conducted by archaeologist Damien Evans of Cambodia's Seam Reap Center and a number of associates. Special equipment valued at $250,000 was mounted on a helicopter and fired millions of laser pulses at the forest below every few seconds. A small portion of those pulses zipped down to the forest floor through the gaps in the trees and foliage. Those laser beams were reflected back to the sensor on the helicopter by the planet's solid surface. This method, also referred to as LIDAR, or light detection, and ranging, detected variations in the contours of the jungled land. The information allowed researchers to visualize city blocks neighborhoods, dried-up ponds, and other archaeological relics. Results from LIDAR and fresh ground-based research were published in the December 2015 issue of Antiquity. Evans and his colleagues discovered significant surprises at Angkor Wat using a laser to scan the sky. The researchers discovered six enormous and enigmatic lines of Earth, precisely arranged in coils just beyond one side of the 1.3-kilometer square moat surrounding the temple, 
as well as nearby areas where two additional coiled mounds appear to have been destroyed by later canal construction. These cumber works of art resemble labyrinthine spirals. Excavations inside the moat's perimeter guided by light are challenged preconceived notions about who resided on temple grounds. Residents were the people who kept the place running, not religious or political bigwigs. Additionally, fieldwork revealed evidence of mysterious towers that were built during the construction of Angkor Wat and later destroyed, as well as defensive platforms that may have been used to fend off invaders. As this video demonstrated, Angkor Wat was a breathtaking structure. Unfortunately, drought and flooding smashed the strong civilization into oblivion, highlighting the links between climate and people. Comment down if you would like to visit this breathtaking tourist location. If you liked today's video and found it to be informative, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We will see you soon on yet another video. Until then, take care.